Which color scheme should I use for my Tyranids? That was one of the first questions that I asked myself once I pre-ordered my Leviathan box. I will leave the link of my unboxing in the description. And because it's a very important question, actually. I mean, there's a lot of Tyranids in that box, so you really want to know that uh, you have clearly in mind the, the, the color scheme that you want for all of them, because there's a lot and you're going to paint all of them, so you need to make sure that you're going to like the army or and how it's going to look. So I started looking for references about how I, I was going to paint them. Of course, I like a lot the colors of Leviathan, but it's it's like the Ultramarines. It's uh, maybe... Th there's too many of them, so I wanted something more unique or at least different. So I started looking for references or the other high fleets and such, and I was interested by uh, Hydra or even Kraken or or even the new ones that they shared in this uh, Warhammer community, all the, the new ones that they made. They look very cool, eh? but but they, even if I liked them, I, I was not really convinced about them. And of course, I kept watching a lot of them on social media and such. And in the end, I saw one miniature that it's not really into the Tyranid uh, side, I saw the Gene Stealer Colts Patriarch and I saw that color scheme and I fell in love with it. I, I really like that one because it's quite different. I mean, usually Tyranids, they have like this carapace and then the, the rest of the body and they use these different colors. And I wanted to do something like that. Like, okay, I want to make my Tyranids look more armored, like the exoskeleton that they have around this armor. It's actually resistant. And I, I saw that one, I was like, okay, I'm going to use this as a reference for my Tyranids. I don't want to do exactly this, I want to do something similar, in the same vibe, let's say. So, of course, I painted my first Tyranid ever. And, of course, I made a video painting it. And uh, I will leave it now, uh, next to, next to what now, this introduction. And I will highly appreciate every type of comment or something that uh, you will improve or something that... Uh, I could do better. I really like I really would like feedback right here because I'm going to paint a lot of tyrannies. I have 19 more uh, termagants waiting after this one. And of course, I I really appreciate if you will let me know what do you think about my color scheme or the color scheme that I choose. So I hope that you will enjoy me painting my first tyrannid ever. So this is going to be the first Tyranid that I will ever paint. This is going to be my first test subject because of course I have a color scheme in mind, but I want to see it. I want to check if it's going to be as good as I think or in, in case that I don't like it, I will have to think about something completely different. So it's going to be fun. So let's start with uh, painting this uh, volunteer. With the miniature Prime Tal ready, I will proceed to apply Cantor Blue. Uh, usually people, when they do like a Tyranid, they do the carapace in one color and then the body in a different one. I'm going to try to do in a more uh, uh, similar way. I will add Cantor Blue to every part that I consider part of the, let's call it exoskeleton or the outside ones. And I will try to have like a lighter one in the inner parts that are not like are mortal, let's say. So I will apply a lot of counter blue to it. Let's hope that it will look nice. So with the uh, counter blue applied to every part that I consider part of the exoskeleton of the Thermagant, this is how it looks right now, uh, quite bluish, so now I will apply some Nuln oil to make it a little bit more darker and enhance a lot of the, uh, all the gaps between the, the exoskeleton itself and such and make it a little bit less blue, so let's go with some magic uh, Nuln oil. And with the null oil applied, it looks a little bit more, uh, let's say, shiny and darker than it used to look. For me, it's important to have this null oil because as I'm painting all the exoskeleton in the same type of color, 
I really want the different shapes to be noticeable in plain sight. And now I will apply some demonet height to the, uh, let's say, the flesh parts, so like the tail, the gaps between the, the, the bones and the head. So let's uh, go for it. And done. Now for the weapon I will use some corn red and I will continue with the model, but I, I wanted to have the weapon ready first, so let's uh, go for it. Bio weapon done with corn red and now I will add screamer pink, screamer pink to the tongue and uh, I don't know, this one that I just poked to the eyes. So let's proceed with that. And with the eyes painted and the tongue as well, I think it's a good moment to start with the uh, highlighting. I will use for that the uh, Alayotic ala Blue. And let's see how it will be. So this is how it is without the highlight and this is how it looks right now with the highlight. I like the, the result and I'm thinking about adding maybe another uh, lighter blue, more uh, uh, vivid to like add it here like a thinner highlight. I will think about that but for now I like the, the result. I like how it's uh, looking. I like it. That's good. Okay, so as you can see, I added some Mariman blue to the edge highlighting there. And I like the result, so now I will do exactly the same with the other side that I still have to do. So let's uh, go with that. Let's paint the teeth of this uh, uh, thermagant. And with the teeth uh, painted and most of the highlight uh, done, maybe there are some, maybe there is something that I haven't painted yet, but I should check later and polish it. But for now, I want to uh, give a better vibe to the skin, so I will add uh, shade uh, Druchi Violet, this one. And uh, I hope that it will look nicer than it looks right now. So let's go for it. While I wait for the shade to fully dry, I will now add some Asian grey to the clothes and such to not leave them like fully black, like to add something to them.
And ashen gray is too dark, so there's not much contrast. So now I will add a little bit of the dawn stone that it's the lighter gray that I have. It's because it's the lighter gray that I have. So I will add this one to the main part of the clothes. And here you can see that it's more visible. And finally, to make some contrast with the skin, I will add some uh, slanish gray. And this one should be almost my last step. And this is what happens when you are improvising the paint scheme. That I just decided that instead of having the the gun in cord red, I'm going to have it in screamer pink because I think that pink suits better the the, the tyranny in general. It suits better the color scheme that I'm using. So this is the first tyranny that I have ever painted. I'm still waiting for the yellow to arrive to give a little bit more of color to the eyes of the weapon and the, the tyranny itself. But so far I'm quite happy with the result and I cannot wait to paint more than 40 models in the Leviathan box set, the same as uh, this one. It's going to be fun. So if you're still here, please consider giving me a like and subscribing. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. And of course, if you have any kind of suggestion about the model or you want to share your opinion, uh, I will highly appreciate it. So thank you very much and see you next time.